everyone, I'm Hugo. <laughs> and this is the Bible Reloaded. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. We're going to do another Chick Tract. <laughs> Don't have a lot to say about it. It's from the 90s, yeah. I think. At least that's the date yeah. on it. It's called Ransom. It's about a kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy's frown. It's so yeah, frowny. No, isn't that his, is that a mustache? Holy is shit. it supposed to be a mustache? Yeah, but it like it like improves his scowl into like a frown. It's like a Fu Manchu with that, but it's all connected, like like pimp monk. Anyways, uh, we have a huge uh, two part review of something that you guys have been asking for for a while. We did the trailer for it. You can guess in the comments. Uh, it needs a lot of unpacking. So that was gonna be today, but holy shit, we just don't we don't want to put it out late. So we're gonna move it. We're just gonna move it. So next week that we will have part one. Uh, wow. But this, this for now, we're just gonna have fun instead, because holy shit, I'm stressed out about... I, I, we wrote a lot... Oh, yeah. God. Oh, God. I had to do fucking tons of research. Let's thank Jack Chick for once that he's our comfort. With Ransom. Constance, why on earth is your sister Bonnie coming up our drive? To pay off a loan, Poopsie! I like to call you Poopsie! True story. I had a dog named Jack. Uh, his name, you know how pets end up getting other pet names over time. So it was Jack, uh, Jackso or something. Like my mom called him Jackson, Mississippi once. So that was funny. Uh, and then, and then it ended up being Poops, and then it became Poopsin, and then it became Poopsie. I was a child. Shut up. And uh, so I thought of my dead dog when she said that. Thanks, Jack. He got incontinent, and then we had to shoot him. You know this is supposed to be, like, funny. Funny? Uh, d don't worry. My other dog, Lucky, got hit by a bus, like, a week later. I think he walked into it on purpose because he was depressed. That didn't help. Uh, Darwin's alive. My new dog is alive. Okay. Including all the interest, I hope. In regard to the money you were talking about. That's... <laughs> That's right, Poopsie! It, uh, I have a Manhattan, and there's a demon cat, and then that picture is responding to the spider in the wall. Actually, it's not a real spider. We made this painting, and then we're like, wouldn't it, he's looking up, wouldn't it be funny if we put, like, a prop? <clears throat> prop comedy's fun, right? In living rooms and living spaces? So we added some prop comedy to our, our, our dining room area. Wait, are these rich people the only patrons of Carrot Top? Is Did we figure out why Carrot Top is a thing? These rich people have just been paying him for the last 30 years? Because that would explain so fucking much. Also, in the bottom left corner, you know Jack was like, Holy shit, this is so funny. This cat, look at this cat and the fish. That. Tail bite. Fucking Looney Tunes. Why is there so much predatory nature between animals? The, the cat's eating a mouse. It's a demon cat, obviously. And then there's a fucking piranha. I just think Jack Chick probably lost his true calling in doodling those little gags in, like, the margins of Mad Magazine. And now he's... <laughs> it's clearly what he wanted to do. I think that's her. Look at that picture, Marv. <laughs> I mean, I see it. Yeah, I'm glad we got this picture. I mean... Stupid. It, 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 we sure didn't get a picture of these people. How did we how did we get that picture? I don't know. Bingo, let's grab her. I'm also glad uh it's really convenient uh that we got the Polaroid film that actually had pre-labeled you can like get pre-specially made labels so you can know who it is. No Marv, I also have a label gun. I got it at uh, Hobby Lobby. Cause this is a chick tract and we we support Hobby Lobby. Get her in the van, Marv! I mean undescript criminal. <laughs> Yap, yap, grr. How mad do you think Jack was that he didn't end up making that dog Spike? Or oh, whatever real, that dog real mad. Is. Yeah. I fang. think we say Spike, and then we end up on Fang every time. Because it should be Spike. It should clearly be Spike. I understand why it's Fang. I just think you're wrong, Jack, and I'm the one who's alive, so I think I de facto win. It won't start, but luckily I support our local police, according to the bumper sticker. <laughs> you think Jack thought that was a clever little sight gag too? Putting all the again, really should have done the margin doodles in the Mad magazines. Much yeah. better at little tiny sight gags like that that aren't that funny, but maybe make you exhale <laughs> air a little bit out of your nose. Like, hmm, hmm. lady, you're gonna make us very rich. 
Also, by the way, we're the bandits that often explain our plan to the kidnap victims. Uh, we I probably should have shot the dog. I'm not going to lie. It was clearly threatening us, but here we are. So, whatever. Ma, quit blowing our cover. She's going to find out we're the exposition bandits. The cousins of the wet bandits. The wet exposition bandits. They used to, we used to be the wet exposition bandits, but it it got it got uh, literally sloppy, but also figuratively because we had to explain that it's wet. And I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. It's too much exposition. We're just we gotta move on. Where's Bonnie? I'm Bonnie's twin. Bonnie. <laughs> Who cares? <gasps> Look, oil on my driveway. How dare she? Do you also- get it? He doesn't love his wife. Mmm, Jack Chick couldn't even bring himself to not give him white servants, though. Good for you, Jack. I think that's a step in the right direction. Get Conrad Van Clive on the line now. Uh, you're gonna have to be more specific than that, sir. I'm an operator. There are more people than that in, like, the world. Uh, so could you, like, um, more? Con- Conrad Worthington Esquire, M.D., Van Clive the Third. He lives at. Uh, uh, he lives in a house. I'm. I'm looking. It's not listed. People don't have to have their numbers listed anymore. So, do you oh, have like? Um. Do you know him? Because like, I mean, you should probably just find his number because it's well, not. Well, the thing listed. is, I I know him, but he's like I met him through a friend, and so I feel weird without having that friend to mediate this interaction. So I'm asking you because it's like. Oh, if the operator sent me, it's totally not socially weird. But, like, you know, it's, it's kind of like when you walk into someone, like, at the store and you went to high school with them, but you, for the life of you, you can't remember their name. It's it's just that awkward. And I don't... You're a person. You understand. You don't want me to go through that. Sir, I'm fairly indifferent to your phone plight. Several hours later... Conrad Van Clive here. I think my waspy voice is getting better as the tract goes on, by the way. <laughs> this is weird bizarro day, because normally my accents devolve over the course of the episode. I mean, we're only on, what, panel, like, six? Uh, yeah, we well... Of time. Uh, <laughs> We've got your wife, Van Clive, you piece of shit. We want two million cash else. That's impossible. Constance is taking a bubble bath. I'm going to join her with my seven other servants. Several of them are non-white. Very exotic. (laughs) You have a twin sister, Keeper. Oh, uh, what's her name? Uh, She has the same name as my wife, apparently. Bonnie? Connie? I don't know, is that my wife's name? (laughs) I, well... I don't know. You're the one that's doing the seven people orgy interracial thing right now. It's real exotic. You're oh, like you're like okay. you're like fucking the cast of Jumanji. Old Jumanji or new Jumanji? New Dwayne the Rock Johnson Jumanji. That would be an accurate descriptor. There's also going to be a lot of shit, a lot like the movie. Jack Black's a transgender in that one. Are you Constance Van Clive? No, I'm Connie's sister. Bonnie, I, uh, is that a thought bubble of flying money? That's a thought bubble of the money. Like, oh, oh, there goes all our money. This guy apparently doesn't speak English. He speaks in abstract abstract thought. His backstory (laughs) is he was a feral child who was returned to civilization (laughs) and later turned to a life of crime because of his abstract way of thinking. (laughs) He's like, was that Coco the Chimp or whatever? He He never complained. Yeah, yeah, he's missing that Fox P2 gene. It's a miracle anyone can understand him at all. Constance, your sister's been kidnapped and they're demanding a ransom. Notify the authorities. Good heavens, now I'll miss my tennis match. Also, isn't this a very cumbersome way to show panels to format a comic book? Because this looks like an establishing shot and then the next panel looks like the interior, but it... If according to the context of the actual comic, these are two separate places. That's not how you should do that. It's not over yet. I'll call her sister. She'll pay the ransom. Oh, why? You're very close to me. You are, Marv. You gotta back up. Well, just a touch. Sorry, I, uh, 
spaced out for a second there. I don't have very good depth perception. I can't tell how far away things are from me sometimes. Sometimes I just think things are really big. I thought you just got really big. That's my bad. That doesn't seem like a justification for this, but I'll allow it. You smell like apricots on a summer day. Well, that's really disappointing because I specifically bought this cologne to smell like apricots on like a, 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 a fall day, an autumn morning even. Well, I'm wearing pretty heavy clothes, so it could be that. <laughs> ring, ring. Ring, ring. Will you answer the fucking phone, ma'am? Ring, ring. Not one dime, darling. It's my money. You can tell because I'm the Monopoly man. Hey, look, the cat got, got back at the horror shark. Oh, good. I was worried that that joke was going to die. But nope. <laughs> there it is. I'm sorry, but Conrad and I simply can't get involved. We're leaving for Europe tomorrow. I'm gonna go see my mother-in-law, which is Conrad's mother. That's how marriage works. She's an Italian lady, and she doesn't really like me that much. She voted for Benito. We got him, Sarge. We got him. We know his... We triangulated the coordinates. We have oh, good. rotary phones, but we also have Emilio Estevez from Mission Impossible, the first one, before he dies in the elevator shaft. They turned us down. Do you understand, lady? You have not been ransomed. Oh, yes, I have. I, I know exactly that I've, what I've been ransomed as. There's Wait, chi- uh- Literally, this, we're just in this window, and those children, old men, like, no one's look. Just turn to your right. <laughs> Turn to your right and see me tied. A lot of Jack Chick's visual humor comes from violence to animals. You ever notice that? Like, 90% of his sight gags are always animals trying to kill each other. What the fuck was your problem, Jack? Well, I think that's, you know... We saw this in Dexter. We know how this works. Someday they're gonna find in his belongings just a trunk and it's full of Chick tracks stained in blood. And that was his, like... (laughs) <laughs> that was the souvenirs. He'd take chick tracks and he'd dip them in the blood. And if it was like a tract about gay people, he killed a gay person. If it was a tract mm. about Catholics, he. Ki- I think we just. I think we just invented an actual serial killer. Like one person in our audience is like, Ooh. I just really want a serial kill. And then like, fuck, that's it. My ransom has been paid in full. I'm and I've been set free. It's a fi- Okay. Before no, I know what you're gonna say. Go Psst. ahead. Just out with it. It's fine. She's nuts. Also, oh fuck! Why are you so? Now, now it's more of like a, like a, like an evening in Paris. Marv, why are you so? It just keeps happening. It's we've talked about this. If I get big, you just need to take a step back. What are you talking about, lady? Here's something you boys need to know. You're both in trouble. Mr. J's coming. It started back when Adam and Eve sinned. Oh boy, more animal cruelty. Is this the track with the most animal cruelty jokes per capita? So far. Or animal violence, I should say. Well, no, kids are chasing them. I guess that's kind of. There's also a bunny rabbit. Sin entered the world through Adam and Eve and all mankind was infected with it. That was in Romans 5.12. Sin keeps people out of heaven. I don't... I don't get it. Marv, do you get it? No, I don't really care. I'm just gonna untie this lady so we can let her go. I don't really care. Wait, why are we untying her? I, well, we're not getting any money. What are we gonna do? Either that or we're gonna kill her. Whatever. I mean, she kind of has that Velma hair thing. Okay, hold, hear me out. I'm gonna try to seduce this lady. Okay, that could have got that, that. This bit could have gone a lot darker. I'm glad you used the word seduce. I'm not into non-consent. Are you kidding me? That grosses me out. Okay. Consent only. In fact, I will reaffirm consent every thirty seconds until completion. <laughs> the whole world was held hostage to sin, just like I'm held hostage. It's a it's a parable and needed to be ransomed. It was sort of, although only someone without sin could pay that ransom. So not you. You, you weird-eyed, freckled guy you with the fryer tuck hair. I'll have you know, one eye being 
amazingly larger than the other is the reason I can't tell if you were a midget or not, okay? <laughs> Firstly. Second of all, I'm pretty sure my friend's gonna try and fuck you. So, are you like the kind of Christian that only takes it in the butt, or are you like a normal one? I'm more Cause... of a soak Christian. Okay, okay. You, you soak it. Although, I gotta tell you, I ain't getting wet for nobody. I can, uh, I can, like, Spongebob, I can just, like, make it stop. Even if I was already turned on. Like, if Denzel Washington walked in right now, sploosh, I tell ya. But not like young Denzel Washington, like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, Book of Eli Denzel Washington, near the end. Right after he dies. We really gotta start doing background checks of these kidnapped victims. <laughs> So God the Father sent his son, Mr. J, from heaven to pay off the ransom. Mr. J never sinned. Mr. J just wants to tell jokes to everybody and make everybody smile. So when he died on the cross, he paid our ransom for our sins. You might do a better Harley Quinn than uh, Margot Robbie. <laughs> gotcha! That's it. This whole thing. There's Satan. Big guy. It's gotcha. He actually does, okay, to be fair, he's got one, two, three, four, possibly five, six, seven, eight. I'll give him nine benefit of the doubt. The other ones are, they're escaping his grasp. <laughs> That's true. They're not trying very hard. Are they all tied up individually or are they tied together? Because it doesn't look like they're tied together. It looks I like they're all I think you could like hop away, especially if you're those back three or four. Okay. All you right. got this. Maybe this is just a photo of, like, the first time Satan tried to grab people. Like, <laughs> now it's, like, assembly line. He's got it now. But anyone who accepts Mr. J as their savior goes to heaven because their ransom has been paid. And that's just how capitalism works. Okay, so question, who I, was oh. holding, wait, 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 who was holding us ransom? It was the devil, but who allowed him to do that? Well, I mean, God allows, okay, so God allowed it. Like, to what extent did he allow it? Was he just not there at the time? Or oh, like... no, he was there. He, he's omniscient. He knows. Oh, but, like, he's, but he had sinned. nothing to do with, like, the devil, right? Like, that's... Oh, I mean, why well, he created the devil, of course. Oh. Yeah. But he has not... But, like, he's doing his best to try and, like, oh, stop. Oh, no. Stop. Oh. No, he's just, uh... He's he's uh playing that new fidget spinner game that Keemstar made. Mm. You know, Keemstar made a fidget so... spinner game? <laughs> no, I should not. It's a real... It's a mobile game. <laughs> um... So in this metaphor, you're telling me God is a cop who saw a guy doing a bad thing and said, hey, go do that more with my permission. No, it's more like he's Superman that saw something bad happen and didn't do anything and encouraged oh. the behavior. So. Which, by the way, Superman's an asshole. When I accepted Mr. J, my ransom was paid and set free from my sin and I was promised a home in heaven. And then that was, there's that panel. <laughs> Can we appreciate the laziness of this panel? I'm pretty sure this is just an image of Jesus they reuse. I know I've seen this before, oh, so yeah. I know this has been in other chick tracks. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And they literally just blacked out Jesus. I think before this is the one they've used that's all cut up and really gross. Yeah. Maybe they censored it because at this point they realized how gross that image is. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he did that for me. Can I go to heaven too? I mean, <laughs> and, and by the way, just so everyone knows, I definitely don't hear sirens and cops definitely about to, to breach the place. And I'm not trying to buy myself maybe a plea deal or maybe trying to get you to be a character witness. Neither do I. I don't hear any of that. Uh, I mean, you could just pray with me, but I gotta be honest. God's a little, he's a little heavy on the aesthetics sometimes and. He often okay. doesn't let things below a three in. Okay, well, let's just get this prayer done, preferably uh, before the time it takes a pin to come out and uh, for the, the, the fuse to go out on a, like a tear gas grenade, because mm. I really think that metaphor is pertinent right now. Okay, well, just um, repeat after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for paying the ransoms for my sins. Please come into my heart. I accept you as my personal savior. Yeah, all that shit. That... That. Also, cry what? Cry a tear out of the hole where your eye used to be. <laughs> oh God! Of course they did that. 
Fun fact, not even a tear. It's just the gross mucus buildup. Have you ever seen someone without an eye? It is disgusting. I can say that because don't worry, people without eyes. You're not disgusting. We all are. We just get to see inside your skull. <laughs> Sorry. Next time, opt for a door instead of a window. Don't move! You have the right to remain silent! How dare you invade our prayer meeting? Have you no respect? Ma'am, this is like the fifth time this week this has happened. Can you please stop getting kidnapped? I like it. I, we, un, I, we understand, but seriously, you need to take off the Velma wig and the glasses and stop pretending to be a woman because it's really unfair <laughs> to these kidnappers, okay? Aren't you gonna press charges? No, these are my new brothers. Okay. Um, um I think I that got it. I I think my big brother was trying to rape me that well, not really a rape thing. He was he was going to try to seduce me, but now that he knows that I'm a man and that I uh have a wig on, this is still my voice though, believe it or not. It's actually why I started to tuck it and put wigs on. It's cuz the voice was very Margot Robbie. And to be clear, you're a trap, not transgender, right? Because of oh, course. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not. People in the comments would never overreact to things. No, I'm a trap. Like, okay. uh, like, uh, the end of Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Okay. No, I think. Wait, what's that? No. They t he tucked it and he got surgery because he was trying. It was all a. a... No, the difference. <laughs> He's trying to get back at Dan Marino. <laughs> no, the difference between. <laughs> It was Finkel, and it was because he missed a field goal. But I'm trying to think: was he transgender or was he just? <laughs> he a, still had a, his someone... wiener. That's not how. That's not the differentiate differentiation he, he between the two. He tucked it, and then the the Gila monster from Fern Gully had to wipe his tongue off. The differentiation between <laughs> someone who's like trans and someone who's just like cross dresser, I think, is the gender dysphoria. So there is a difference, but whatever. No, okay, that's not correct. Gender is a social construct, right? In the streets. Antifa? MAGA? I don't know which one does that. I honestly do not know which one is against or for those things. So I don't know what... What is anyone against or for anymore? I'm so confused. <laughs> Why am I still using this voice? I'm kind of committed now. Officer, you need to be ransomed. Jesus fucking Christ. What? Wow. Okay, yeah, if they didn't make it any clearer, these guys are definitely faking it to try and get out of their prison sentence, right? Like, this is the most bullshit. I mean, I know she said she's not going to press charges, but sometimes that doesn't matter. Like, the DA can just do it <laughs> if it's a big enough crime and has nothing to do with you. Jesus anyway. wants to ransom you too, but I don't care about that verse at all. Uh, if Satan has you kidnapped, there's only one way to get loose. By kidnapped, he means... If God, who in this metaphor is your parent, uh, literally gave you his child to the kidnappers to say, hey, have them. And it's, this is the metaphor that this is actually. Here's what happened. You're God's kid. You may be through a tantrum in a store. Actually, not even. Because just your general state of being is an affront to God. You have to, like, no matter what you've done, apologize to him. So you're just God's kid. And God's like, uh, hey, kidnapper, will you come here? Could you take this kid for a while until they learn to fucking worship me? That'd be great. And if they don't ever learn that, you can just do, like, whatever you want to them. <laughs> like, that's that's the metaphor. That's the correct version of this metaphor. But anyway. what? So is that what we learned here? Because I feel like I feel like Margot Robbie should be on the cover of this thumbnail. I feel like we got to stop asking ourselves what we learned at the end of Chick Tracks because we keep <laughs> learning that we don't learn anything so I, I feel like we do we regress our knowledge a little bit so that's it remember jake said next week that big review is coming out yeah, uh, you're really gonna like it too we uh oh yeah it's a big time one you guys know how like ray comfort's uh atheism versus god or whatever it was was sure. seemed like a huge trudge for us and how much we were like uh and we did that bit at the beginning where we were drinking oh fuck we should this saved movie that is this movie is worse. I would rather do Ray Comfort's movie again than this one. So yeah. You guys, again, look forward to it. You're really going to enjoy that. So get hype or whatever those kids say. You can always follow us on Twitter at Bible Reloaded. You can follow Hugo at Hugo Reloaded. And uh, that's on Twitter. Unless you didn't know that. Like, it's not Instagram. <laughs> it's uh, uh, <laughs> You can also uh, donate to our Patreon campaign. Um, we got a lot of, uh, stuff coming out. The patrons this month, I believe, are getting, uh, Harold Penisman squirt guns, if we can finagle that correctly. Um, also, we have an official Discord, so check the description for that. 
and uh, patrons get uh, VIP Discord stuff. If you are a patron, go to your uh, messages or your emails. I did email you all, and there's instructions there. And you can uh, go to the Discord and get your VIP stuff, which means that basically you'll get more one-on-one time with us over time. And so. not only that, uh, patron-only hangout is going to be the day of this upload. Check your Correct. patron messages for a link, and uh, in the link will be a time. It'll probably either be... It'll be in the evening, like, probably after work on the East Coast. Sure. There you go. So pro- maybe 5 p.m. Eastern. If not, it'll be around that time, give or take an hour or so. Sure. Okay, cool. So until next time, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake. This has been uh, the Bible Reloaded. It was more like the Mago Robbie sexual experience. <laughs> it wasn't. I gotta imagine Margot Robbie is just super annoying. Doesn't she seem super annoying? Am I crazy? I... I don't know.